Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the grey nozzy, small and graceful birds that act in many ways like petrels. I hope you enjoy. Found in both tropical and subtropical Pacific waters, they are pale blue grey in colour, with their upper wings being slightly darker than the rest of their body, also being around 22 to 28 centimetres in length and 45 to 70 grams in weight. Their tails also have a shallow fork, which assists them in their turning and lift. They have been compared in many ways to acts like storm petrels, as they have been noted to hover and flutter above the water whilst using their webbed feet to pass on the sea surface while feeding. Their Latin name, Procelsterna, is also a compounding of Procellaria, the genus name of some petrels, and the Latin Sterna for turn. Their diet consists of krill, tiny fish and sea striders, with them also having the narrowest known gape of any nozzy, which limits them to taking the smallest of fish, with average sizes of about 17mm. Birds breed on the coast of islands in the Pacific, with them in New Zealand breeding on all the Kermitic Islands, with 15,000 pairs being estimated on Macaulay and Curtis Islands. The timing of their breeding varies with location, but it is August through February in New Zealand. They're also gregarious, breeding in loose but large colonies, often on cliffs, but also less often in areas of rocky ground or in vegetation. Their courtship displays are graceful, with them performing intricate displays, with pairs hovering in the winds and weaving across each other's flight path. During incubation, the unoccupied bird sometimes displays in front of their incubating mate by hovering in with their wings and tails raised at a 45 degree angle and making a series of U-shaped dipping flights, likely to affirm their bonds. Their single freckled egg is laid through August to December, with birds sharing incubation for 32 days, and the chick being brooded continuously for the first two to three weeks after hatching. Chicks will also peck at the webs on the adult bird's feet for food, rather than at the bill, as is usual with many other seabirds. Introduced mammals have been eradicated from their kermadex, which means their breeding population is consistently high, and are therefore classified as least concern. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Chatham Islands Coot, the largest known coot that has unfortunately become extinct. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.